On today's Toy Spot, we're going to be looking at the Spider-Man from Hasbro, the Fiercest Foes Battle Cards figures. Today we're going to be looking at Night Mission Spider-Man. I, I spoke ill, unfortunately, of the Venom from the Fiercest Foes Battle Cards set. I'm a bit disappointed, really, with the articulation missing in the knee aspect of the figure. Uh, but lately, I've been on a kick. If you've been watching my Iron Man figures, the three and three quarter inch figures from the movie, uh, I've been on a recent kick lately on three inch figures. So I saw this in the store, and maybe. While I didn't want to get it before, the recent, the recent uh, interest in 3-inch figures made me actually want to pick up this figure. Plus, it was also a black costume figure, which right off the bat is usually a simple win for the review spot. Before we actually look at the figure and all the other accessories, the glorious accessories that he comes with, we'll first have a look at the package. As you can see, three Fiercest Foes battle cards included. I don't even remember what I did with the Venom uh, Fiercest Foe Battle cards, and no doubt the Spider-Man's cards are going to end up in that same place. Somewhere. Uh, we've got a picture of Spider-Man down below, although not really quite a picture of Spider-Man. It looks more like Firefly than anything else. On the back of the package... It says, with suits for any mission, Spider-Man is ready to battle his fiercest foes no matter where they hide and help Spider-Man battle his fiercest foes, collect all 12 cards, subject to availability. Snap-on battle armor. Uh, down below, the other figures in this wave. Oh boy, we've got interlocking web tech accessories come with most figures, but they don't really in indicate which figures are which. Uh, we do, however, have a Green Goblin. We have a Scuba Spider-Man, total write-off and we have a what looks to be a gray and red repaint spider-man complete with dr. octopus arms and finally we've got a uh, I believe the evil professor did a review of this it's the superposable uh, spider-man which actually looked pretty decent and I commented in his video that I think it's a figure <laughs> surprisingly I would want to pick up um, so that's packaging there you go. There's packaging on the Fiercest Foes Battle Cards Spider-Man, the Night Mission Spider-Man. What we'll do is we'll get the package opened up and we will have ourselves a better look at Spider-Man. Is it worth picking up? Well, stay tuned and we'll find out. Stay tuned. And clearly, as you can see, the review was already too much for Spider-Man. He's out cold. Uh, while he's taking a nap, we hope he's taking a nap, we're going to look at the cards, the three cards that Spider-Man come with. We've got the Night Mission Spider-Man. We've got Rhino. And lastly, yeah, there we go, we've got the Black Costume Spider-Man. And the idea of it, just bring in the little leaflet that it comes with. The idea is it's the traditional rock, paper, scissors uh, game. Uh, where you essentially have uh, four symbols, or actually three symbols, um, and the idea is that if you are holding your card and Billy is holding his card, uh, you can decide which card you think you, you're going to want to use. So let's say Billy says, I'm going to go with this one, and he picks the spider sense, and meanwhile, clever me decides to use the bomb, uh, essentially what you then do is I mean you could say something if you want you can go uh, spider-man rules or you know I wasted ten bucks or something like that and then you can lay down your cards and you match the two up and as you can see with the leaflet which I didn't go, I didn't do any of this with the venom I don't know why I didn't but um, we've got bomb beats uh, spider sense we've got spider spider sense beats fist fist beats bomb 
And spider sense is the equivalent of spider sense, in case you just didn't know that. So in this case, oh poor Billy, Billy's not very bright, I ended up beating Billy with my bomb. Now let's say hypothetically, both of us, being the expert Spider-Man card game players that we are, we would both use Fist. Oh, that sounds wrong. Uh, what would we then do is we would use this red, kind of reminiscent of the old 80s Transformers uh, stat cards. We have the little red piece of plastic, and we would actually overlay it, as you can see here. Can you see that? You'd overlay it on the two cards. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> it's the same number. Nice. It is the, actually the exact same number. Okay, well, we'll use the spider sense here. You guys get a better idea. We both use the same spider sense card. Uh, Billy's is four. Review spots is five. So once again, this guy's the winner. I'm also on the back. We've got the same uh, picture as the card. And although it doesn't seem like the review spot's very good at putting together puzzle pieces, but essentially you would have, you could put it together and have the, uh, just trying to line it up here. Boy, I've really dropped the ball. All right, I can't even put together a puzzle, but essentially you put the, together the puzzle and uh, you would have a master puzzle. That is to say, if you want to collect all 12 of these, you probably wouldn't. But you get these, and much like every other battle card game, it will be out for a month, and then it'll be gone. Let's go back to Spider-Man here. Spider-Man's not looking very good, I gotta say, with all this armor crap that's all over him. As you can see, he's got these little red gauntlets on his hands. And he's got a red chest piece with the clear uh, back shoulder areas of it. He's also got a clear belt. It's not quite clear. It's like a purple, uh, translucent, transparent colored uh, plastic. He's also got a purple uh, see-through mask as well. Now, smart, very smart of Hasbro. They didn't actually package this figure with all this crap. Had they done that, they probably wouldn't have sold any of these. Um, the good thing about it, and the reason why I picked it up, is that you can actually take off the gauntlets. You can take off the belt. So, seems like it's getting a bit of a dirty uh, review here. You can take off the, uh, well actually we'll take off the mask. And lastly, we can take off the chest armor. And actually underneath, what you end up getting is a very nice Spider-Man. You guys will turn around here. Once again, a huge sucker for the black costume Spider-Man figures. If he's black costume, guaranteed I'm going to be picking him up. Uh, the figure actually is not that bad. What I like about it, and I have one flaw with it, but what I like about the figure is the, uh, is the fact he's very narrow and he's very slender. Um, they sometimes make the mistake by making Spider-Man extremely, let's get the lighting going in here, making him extremely uh, broad. And anyone following Spider-Man knows Spider-Man is not broad. Spider-Man is supposed to be very lanky, very thin. And uh, this Spider-Man figure actually does a great job of showing that. Uh, Spider-Man also comes with one other accessory. He comes with almost looks like a face hugger, this little rubbery kind of webbing. Um, you can put it in his hand, and I don't know if it's supposed to really simulate his webbing, or if it's just supposed to be like a, a web fly swatter. But I mean, it really doesn't do anything. It doesn't really have suction cups. It just is a bunch of webbing. Not again. Not something I would probably have with the figure on display, uh, but they do include that. So we'll throw that away as well. At least throw it to the side and give you guys another view of the Spider-Man. Another thing I like about the Spider-Man is that he has the much larger eyes, which seem to go hand in hand when you've got a black costume Spider-Man. 
uh, black costume Spider-Man, really cool. Black spy black costume Spider-Man with large white uh, McFarlane style eyes, very cool. And as you can see, it's not just a straight black. They've actually incorporated a a blue uh, wash in there as well. Um, in the shoulder area, down the side of the arms, on the behind, in the calf area as well. Um, the light, I think, the lighting in this video actually is making it a lot brighter than what it is. In person, it actually isn't that bad. It actually isn't really that bad at all. Um, I also like the fact that they've put the black dot in his, on the white square on his hand. Uh, usually a a point on a figure that's I say point usually it's a, it's a, uh, a a piece of detail that's usually left off most uh, figures but it's nice that they actually put that in there um, in the way of his oh before we get to the articulation the one slight problem I guess I really have two problems but the one slight problem I have is the extremely long neck he has um, it could have been a little shorter I mean I, I'm not I don't hate it as much as a, you know, I guess I, I could hate it. It is uh, it is extremely long, but I guess being that he is a, a teenager or he's a younger, uh, lankier character, uh, the longer neck actually doesn't, doesn't ruin the figure that much, but it could have been just a tad shorter. Um, the one problem I really have, though, stems from uh, the articulation in the ankles. Uh, it, it basically has none. And I think there, therein lies the problem because you've actually got a pretty poseable Spider-Man, um, but you can't really do too much when his legs are, are are spread or when his legs are bent because his ankles uh, can't really, you know, you can't bend the ankles. So therefore, it probably it defeats most poses that you can put this guy into. Um, also, he has no articulation to speak of from the neck down to the the lower leg area of the figure. Uh, it's actually just one solid piece. Uh, good, because you can actually see a lot of the details in the figure, uh, but bad, because it's just a, it's just a solid piece. Um, in the way of his articulation, he has the ball-jointed head, so you can have the head uh, in numerous poses. Um, he has the ball-jointed shoulder. He has a bend at the elbow. You can rot rotate also the arm, the forearm. No articulation in the wrists, no articulation as I mentioned in the upper torso or in the waist, uh, but he does have articulation in the leg. You can bend back and forth in and out. You can rotate the thigh. Uh, you can bend the knee. Single point in the knee, and as mentioned, no articulation in the in the ankles here. Now, based on that, would you would you say it's necessarily a good figure? I think actually it's still pretty good. I don't know if it's worth uh, the ten dollars or the nine, uh, the nine ninety nine that I paid for it. But at the end of the day, though, it's still a pretty decent Spider-Man. Now I haven't picked up the Spider-Man from the Marvel Universe line yet, the black costume Spider-Man. Uh, it would have a lot more articulation than this particular Spider-Man here. Um, from what I've seen of the figure though, it does seem like they have a lot more of the blue wash on the figure, that it looks a lot less black than this guy right here. Um, still though, I might end up picking him up, uh, again because I have been on a recent interest in these, the three inch figure lines out there now. Uh, so I might pick him up. If I pick him up, I'll do a review, uh, but in the meantime, this actually is a decent figure. Yes, he could have had more articulation going on, but at the end of the day, he's got a really decent sculpt. And it, really, the choice is yours whether you think he's worth picking up or if you think he's just, it, you can just wait and get the Marvel Universe Spider-Man. Um, but still, I'm going to give this guy, I'm going to give this guy a six. He's still, he's still got charm, and despite the fact he's got all this extra armor, which is just a total wash. I think still this figure holds up pretty well indeed. Uh, but that was a toy spot. Today we're looking at the Hasbro Spider-Man, the battle card Spider-Man. We're looking at the Night Mission Spider-Man. Uh, without his armor, he's a really decent figure.
Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more toy spots to come. And I'll see you guys next time.